the large intestine or colon is characterized by uh, again a mucosa a submucosal layer with the blood vessels, arteries, nerves, the thick muscularis externa of a longitudinal and cross section of smooth muscle and the outer uh, serosal layer. If we look at the outer thin serosal layer we should see a pretty good picture of it here and here is a good serosal layer. There's the thin dark line of the serosa this is a cross-section of skeletal muscle with the cross-section of each individual smooth muscle cell, the nuclei in the center. And if we go down into the uh, longitudinal section or lengthwise section, we can see that the smooth muscle cells are uh, oriented here with a spindle-shaped cell. And uh, if we go back down to the lower power, here's the a submucosa, a looser connective tissue, there's some blood vessels, and then the uh, mucosa with the uh, layers of the mucosa. The surface of the colon doesn't have fingers. Uh, it has small openings at the surface, small circles, circular openings, and uh, crypts of libercoons, uh, and down uh, along the uh, a crypts we can see the epithelium type. The epithelium type uh, is also characteristic of the uh, digestive tract and it's columnar and here's the basement membrane there's the nuclei they're all in the same plane taller cells than they are wide but many many goblet cells almost every other cell is a goblet cell which is characteristic of the uh, epithelium in the mu of the mucosa uh, of the large intestine. Also in the submucosa you find the large lymphoid nodules in the large intestine.